Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by The Org Boss. The Org Boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, interior design, inventory staging, business processing documentation, and more. Reach The Org Boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email to info at theorgboss.com. Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertiseatthesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 Seven seven two seven seven eight nine. Hey yo, what's good, my peeps? It's your girl Kalia Guillory, also known as KG, and welcome to startup masters where we drop the dopest content the freshest gems for all of you entrepreneurs corporate mompreneurs any newer this is the show you want to hit to literally because we cover everything from a to z from rois from the mistakes that we wish we wouldn't have made are those that we call learning opportunities but you can also go up there and mash that subscribe button so you make sure you don't forget any of our dope content all right you can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook at KOG Speaks. That's IG Facebook at KOG Speaks. G. What up? What it do? You know what it does, <laughs> man. Come on. What up, good people? Welcome back to another great episode of Startup Masters. I'm your co-host, Gary Lee, also known as G Hawkins. Of course, you can find me anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snappity, chatting at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. And it's about those gems. This is that table, once again, as we talk about each and every week. When we sit at this table, it's about to go down. So for any entrepreneur out there, you're tuned in, you're dialed in right now. Let's take it to the max because we're going to talk about business strategies. We're going to talk about taking something from a thought all the way through fruition. Come and that's on. what we do each and every week right here on Startup Masters. Am I right, KG? To me. Are you Come, right? Am I right, KG? We over here, team no white, no me. White me. We don't need that. We ain't trying to skin nothing up. We're nope. not trying to go through those things. Not this time around. No but that's way. That's why we bring the greatest guests on this show each and every week. You ready to dive in? Let's do bring it. Us, bring us into it, KG. So check it. This guest, this entrepreneur, huh? came through highly recommended for our the love of steph i'm double dutching you du come on you ready let's get it this fella is not only known for being a bad beep, personal <laughs> trainer you better, you better do it okay <laughs> he will get you right <laughs> in and outdoors yes. with camp gladiator huh. But if you go to any type of live music venues okay. in the city wait a minute you will also hear him Boy is working on both Drum sides of the table. Man. He's Hold a on. bad beep drummer. <laughs> okay, there it is. There it is. I'm with it. And to make matters worse, the boy went on and wrote a book. He didn't add Come an on. author to the title. I can't I can't hold back anymore, G. We gotta bring Let's in Mr. Ricky, 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 Ricky. Get <laughs> Wood Jr. What up, what up, what up, what up man? Word, man? Oh G. man. Fitness All Music Inc. CEO. <laughs> What's going it. on? Everything is going on. That introduction was like crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I needed some turntables to be like, hey, you should <laughs> hey, get you the audio on this. You know what? Listen, hey, just, yeah, we yeah. mix it. <laughs> we need like an opening music something. Okay. I'm gonna do a drop for you. Please do. <laughs> Please do. I need that audio. I need the audio. I'm gonna give it to my guys. Say, yo, let's make a dope remix with that, and it's gonna be like on Remix Masters, man. So thank you guys for like inviting me. Like I'm super, 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 super happy. Steph hit me up. She was like, uh, "Are you available?" I'm like, "You know what? I am available. Let's just make this thing happen." And is. you guys are awesome. That's I looked at you guys up online, like for real. And I'm just like, 
wow. Just, okay. just consider it done. It's happening. We you know appreciate I mean? that. And I had a tear right here. I was like, okay. man, you know, it's, I'm going. We'll take I'm a tear, too. Yeah, yeah take we'll a tear. No tattoos, but no. tear. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I need to be remain gainfully employed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please, please, thank you. Please, thank you. But yeah, but thank you guys very no much. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. So, as we do each and every week on this show, man, mm-hmm. we take this journey. We hop into that DeLorean, 88 miles an hour, and we all over the place. We hit back Ooh. in the past. We want to hear about the things that you, what you started with. Mm-hmm. Want to hear about those trial tribulations. We're gonna talk about what's going on right now, and of course, mm-hmm. we gotta know the five, 10, 20 year Ooh. plan. Damn. You ready to take these people on this journey? Put y'all seatbelts on. Oh, there it is. Boy, it's it's strap up. Strap to it down. Down. Strap live. Y'all you ready got, for this journey? You got two seatbelts, right? <laughs> yes, on. You yes. need a double buckle. You got a double buckle. Get it, get it right, like a NASCAR. Car driver. Exactly, there it is. So exactly. We riding with you, my G. Take okay. us back in time. Wow. Back to that day when you said, you know what? I'm gonna pick up these sticks and make something happen. Mm-hmm. And wait a minute, I might just be good mm-hmm. in personal fitness. Talk to oh, us about these things. Man, no. what's going on? So let me take you, let me go ahead and just take you back just a little bit. Okay. 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 That's my fake accent, just for just case <laughs> I'll do it every now and then. Uh, so I'm originally from Port Arthur, Texas, right? P-A-T. Shout, shout out to PA. Out. Shout out to P- <laughs> What? Don't tell me. Don't, Stop it. Don't tell me you know Stop Port it. Arthur. Drop it. I knew it. Don't, I was like, that ser- boy, he what? must be related to the Pokes and PA. Are you serious? Thomas Jefferson High School. Man, Yellow jacket. Cousin, that's, I'm from, I went to Lincoln. You know what mm. I mean? But I, but so said, okay. All right. We, we all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right. We'll talk about it after the show. We'll, we'll talk about it after the show. We'll talk about it after the show. What year? What year? What year? I'm at 99. 98. Are you serious? There it is. So Tiffany Hamilton. You know Tiffany Hamilton. That's my best friend. Oh, hey, man. family hey. in the house. Hey. Okay, so, sorry. Okay. Sorry. That's, that's a whole thing. I was change. like, get <laughs> one. That sounds so familiar. <laughs> Guillory. Yes. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm kidding. Some Guillory, right? Okay, okay another right. subject. Here another we go. Subject, Here we go. Thing, okay. So, okay, so I'm from Port Arthur. PA. All right, so, so, we all ha- kind of have an understanding of what Port Arthur is yeah. like. You know, small town, awesome people. And here's the thing. So, I was raised with this, this mindset to where I was either going to be a preacher. I was going to work at the refinery. <laughs> I was going to work for the city. <laughs> that was your choice. That was my choices. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, so growing, I had that mindset the entire time. You know, and then my parents, they, they, they kind of gave me this, like, do what you want to do mentality, but you're going to do the, one of these three things. Mm-hmm. Okay. So growing up, I always had that. I'm, I got to do this. I got to do this. I got to do that. But I was that why kid. I was a why kid. I was like, why? Why? Does that make sense? Why? 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 So I was getting everybody nervous. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just next to me. Yeah, I'm the, I'm that white kid. I was like, why do I have to do this? Why should I have to do that? So I always had this like something is different. I'm missing something. I was always just weird. I hung out with every group of people there. I don't yeah. care if you was a jock or you was a nerd or you was everybody in between. I just hung out with you. So I was that kid. So I was just adapting to everything. So I just always felt different, right? So moving forward. Mm-hmm. Moving forward. Mm-hmm. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I got to the point to where um, my, I had my oldest son, who's 18 right now. 36 or 18 year old. Yes, I started early and I finished early too. No. Right. Huh. <laughs> Done. That's a gym right yeah. there. Done. Right now. Done. Yeah, you know, Unlike some right. of us yeah, who I ain't really I mean, started hey, yet. I mean, no, we ain't started. I mean yeah. if, if you go ahead and get it, <laughs> go ahead and get it started and get it. No, I'm just playing. Okay, that's all personal choices. <laughs> but um, so what happened was I had a, I had a football scholarship. So after um, you know he was born, I decided that I didn't want to be the typical father. You know, most of us know that story. Yeah. Dad's not around, so I just want to be. I was like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not doing my kids. So. Turn my scholarship down. Mm. Guess what job I got? At the refinery. Got a job at the refinery. Awesome job. Cool. I hated it. I really did hate it. I spent six years working at the refinery. Come home every single day. And I went from just making awesome money to slowly but surely I just I was taking time off. I was qu- I was qu- I would quit one job. I had really good rapport with people, so I would quit a job and start over all over again. And that, was mm-hmm. <laughs> that was me. I mean, you know, small town, everybody know you. Yeah. Oh, you get wood. Well, you can start all over again. Cool. So I was off and on for so long until I got to the point where it was like, I am fed up with this. I'm tired of being around negative people. I'm tired of being around people who I'm seeing them like they're in their late 50s, 60s, and they're just miserable. They're so miserable. So within that process of me trying to like figure out what I want to do, I gained a crap load of weight. I went from like 200 pounds. I played football, so I was already kind of in shape. Went from 200 pounds to 360 pounds and wow. less than like. That's oh, yeah. another person. That's another G. person. Like real, I took a person talk. and said. And yeah, how yeah, long yes. though? That. In a year? Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it was yeah, it was wow. yeah. Because I, I literally, I mean, I kept, I kind of kept in shape after high school. Uh, but then I went to that phase where I was just like, again, I was depressed. I was upset. A month. Man, you good at math, aren't Man, you? I'm, I'm <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm counting my fingers like. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I got to that point where I gained that much weight, and I was married to my kid's mom at the time. 
And again, that whole part of the mentality, can mm-hmm. you kind of get settled with saying like, yo, I have a job at the refinery, we doing okay, you we winning. got a house, we mm-hmm. good. And I'm like, I'm losing because I, I hate this right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like this. So I got to the point where again, I, I oh, here's a, here's a funny story. Funny, but not funny story. Uh, so in the time when I was 360 pounds, we went to Astroworld, okay, that's how long ago it was. I went to Astroworld, got on a ride, we was all like, okay, let's go out. And I went to sit on this ride, I was so big and they couldn't, couldn't close. Get it. Ah. So you That's an humbling moment. Bro, humbling? That Embarrassing was, and yeah. humbling. I like, bet you, but your next thought changed. My next thought was like, this is the last time this exactly. bullshit. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. I'm sorry, I mean, that, that's what my thought process yeah. was. Because literally, I'm talking about like two guys trying to push a seatbelt to lock down on me. Like, how embarrassing yeah. was it? I had to get off. And, and see, here's the thing. I've always kind of been this jovial, happy type of person. I played it off. Like, ha ha, it was funny, it's cool. I was like, man. I'm Hurt. Like, man, man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, yes. I had that moment. Really, I yeah. did. Uh, so from that moment on, I literally just became obsessed with losing weight. Mm. I mean, I can I can just tell you a million stories of what I did, but it's very very simple. I literally ran five miles every single day, and I ate, ate nothing but fish and vegetables for literally two months. I lost a hundred pounds in two months, like just dropped it, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> <Pen>. <laughs> <So> <laughs> put, a, put a pin in, you know. Yes. So that yeah, that was kind of back to that. right, Have right, to. right. So that's the to. beginning process. You guys cut me off because I would talk too much. Sorry, but. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that was the beginning process of me understanding that, wow, I can actually do something that I decided to do. You know, I, I, I made it up. I said, no, I'm going to lose the weight. I told myself I'm going to do it. So that kind of led to everything else. It was like, wait, if I can lose this weight in a short amount of time, mm-hmm. then I know that something else I could do. I don't have to work for these people. If I, <laughs> I want to start a business, I can. You know, if foundation. I, really, that's what it really was. So nobody, nobody was really like, like um, just inspiring or motivating me to go start a business. Mm-hmm. It was just me, honestly. It was just like, no, I'm not happy. So what can I do to break out of this cycle of being unhappy? You know, mm. uh, break out of the cycle of being depressed. I'm going to do my own thing. Hey, <laughs> it's all, really the thing. only way to do yeah. it. I mean, if we be honest about it, right? And and when you're doing your own thing, what it sounds like to me is that your life was unorganized at some point. Yes. You're eating, do, you're, you're doing things that are sporadic. Right. And then you decided to get organized. Yeah. And our listeners and viewers, we know a little something right. about organization. Mm-hmm. And that brings us to our first sponsor mm-hmm. right here at the Org Boss. So has the clutter in your home or office space gotten out of hand? Are you sick and tired of spending way too much time trying to find the things you need on a daily basis? If so, then give the org boss a call so that she can help you create organized, functional systems that match your personal lifestyle. The org boss is a residential and commercial organizing company that specializes in decluttering, home staging, interior design, space planning, interior staging, and business process documentation for your growing businesses looking to formally document their procedures. Call the org boss today at 832-617-0624 or send an email over to info at theorgboss.com. That's info at T-H-E-O-R-G-B-O-S-S dot com. And that's what it is. You got to be organized. Man, you got to be right? organized. Yes. And, and it was yeah. it, for you. It was more than just organization. It took commitment. Yeah. It took courage. It yeah. took some perseverance. I mean, it took so much. Yeah. yeah. So talk to us. Like, so let's take yeah. it a step further. Okay, I like to ahead. peel, as I call it, peel the onion a little bit more. You mm-hmm. don't get to where you almost cry, right? right, right, right. <laughs> I had a tear. I was, I was trying to hold it back. Yeah, one yeah, 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 yeah. Come a second. Come a second. Here we go. Here we go. Watch it. I'm watching this. Come on. Give me a tissue right now. No, go ahead. We refer to. Perhaps things that, that failures that didn't, they, they're just, to me, a failure is just something that, or a success that was mm-hmm. disgu- disguised as something that just didn't work out the way you wanted right. to. Talk about some learning experiences that you in, that, that you faced mm-hmm. just in those initial foundational moments when you were like, you know what? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to go and do me. Oh, wow. One of the, uh, uh, man, one story that always replays in my head over and over and over uh, as far as like, what what the point where I had to just do me was this I gotta be honest, this one guy tried to fight me at my job. <laughs> okay, because he was saying he told me literally, he said, You're too positive. And I was literally moving Her? up. So yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you say school? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm not going to throw no names out there, but it was weird because now I realized that, like, this one guy, this guy, he's been at this job for so long. Yeah. He was unhappy with himself. And I, every mm-hmm. job I've had, I've literally tried to just be the best I can be no matter what. So I took that mindset to just be the best I could be no matter what I was doing. 
that must be right. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so this guy, you know, and, and he told me, he was like, man, literally, I don't like you because you're too positive or you're moving up too fast. Who you think you're better than everybody else? Mm-hmm. And then, and I'm at the time I was still young. I was like in, tw- in early, kind of late, early, mid 20s. And so I'm just like, wow. I mean, am I doing the wrong thing? You know what I mean? Like, what, what, is, what is this whole, like, you know, this negative vibe I'm feeling? So anyway, I decided to, at that point, to use that same amount of energy to mm-hmm. put it towards, I take it away from that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be that guy who's stuck in my job, unhappy, mad at everybody else because they're doing better. Exactly. So I just told myself, like, go ahead and do better for yourself. You know what I mean? Totally. So that, that was kind of the beginning phase of it. So one thing that actually happened when I actually got into business, not knowing nothing at all, at, <laughs> at all, <laughs> literally, I, um, I literally just started started selling, like, music. I started selling music. I, was, I used to make beats. So I started selling beats. Uh, little did I know, I didn't know nothing about. I didn't know anything about a DBA. I didn't know nothing, nothing about LLC. I didn't mm-hmm. know nothing. I just started. You start selling. I just started right. selling, you know. <laughs> and then later on, when I, I mean, I was making contacts, you know, in California, so on and so forth. And they got hit with this, <laughs> this, this tax information. I'm like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who? Yeah. yeah, you know what, what I mean? You want? Yeah. So How that, much? that was, it, I'm just like. You know, I, I knew nothing at yeah. all. No, no, ask how BMI, none of that stuff. So I didn't know the whole process of taxes and filing and so on and so forth. And then I, and that was my first big like slap in the face. Like you finna pay this money like right now. Right now. So that, these coins yes, back right or now. else. Or, or <laughs> else. All right. So that was kind of like my first experience with like understanding failure and understanding like my motivation to kind of get out of that hole. You That's, know what's cool about it is yeah. that we want to make sure that that the that our people on Facebook got those gems. Yeah. And I think, gee, you might have hey. something for them people. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey let, me, let me tell you a little something, Facebook. All right, I'm talking to you now. I'm talking real dirty <laughs> to you now. Ooh, real but seriously, dirty. we've got so much more to cover, Facebook. So we need you all to pause for a quick second and go over to the website and subscribe because we're about to cut our Facebook live feed, but we want you to get the rest of these gems. So head over to sphere.tv forward slash startup masters right there you've got some subscribe or some subscription options that are available you've got itunes you've got google play music you've got soundcloud and of course for my techie folks you've got stitcher now while you're there make sure you review us let us know how we're doing give us some constructive 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 Mm. criticism so that we can build a better show for you and at the same time share this out share with your family your friends your colleagues your loved ones your haters share with your side pieces whoever you got in your life make sure you share this content out because we need this to go live for everybody and last but not least if you love what we're doing and you want to sow into the things that we are building literally right now Head over to sphere.tv forward slash donate. We've got two donation options for you. We've got a donation option right on the website, and we've got a Patreon-based donation option where we're going to start to give you exclusive content for those people that truly support us on a monthly basis. So remember, Facebook livers, we're about to cut it right here, but make sure you stay tuned right here at the Sphere. We'll see you later, Facebook. So keeping this party rolling. Mm -hmm. My G, you have been through and you've had oh. these, th- what I like to call catalysts right. that have occurred in your life that have put you in the position that you're at today. Mm-hmm. So let's talk a little bit about today. You mm-hmm. learned the Uncle Sam process. Yeah. Give us, what does your life look like? What can people expect when they meet you and say, hey, I'm working on this track. My producer ain't what it is. I need, <laughs> a new, I need something hot. Right. And... I need to get my body right. What right, can people right. expect from you today? Honestly, man, when, whenever I deal with individuals, I don't even like. To, sometimes I have a hard time saying the word client because I don't want you to feel like I'm just I'm like I'm taking money from you. That's not my thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Obviously, I got to get paid because I got a business to sure. run. Right. So we all understand that process. Everybody, you, eats. everybody know you know that. That's why mm-hmm. I find this funny. People be like, "Well, how much?" You know it goes on the cost. So first of all, anyway, sidetrack. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, right. you know it costs. Yeah. You know what I mean. So uh, just let's go ahead and face that and get that part over with. But I, di- I literally have to deal with people on an individual basis. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not that typical trainer or producer or in- person or motivator who would just look at you and give you this awesome, like, cookie cutter speech mm-hmm. or cookie cutter workout. Because, I mean, everybody's different. You know what I mean? You can even come to me and say, hey, I'm feeling like, you know, I, I can't lose weight. I'm feeling like, you know what I mean? I'm doing the same thing over and over and over. And I could just say, okay, cool, cut your carbs, you know, add some protein and do two laps a day. Mm-hmm. 
that's not it may yeah. not be for you. It may not. You know what I mean? But until I sit down and actually talk to you, mm-hmm. like figure out what you're doing, because it's not just a physical thing, it's like your mindset. Mm-hmm. Your mind may be completely gym. thrown off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because first of all, you're coming to me because you want something. And this is the this is the problem I have with some trainers and some people just in general in business overall. It's customer service. You have sucky customer service. Don't Nobody we hear wants about to that. Well, you. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. it, that's the truth of the matter. So like when you come to me, I, it's not I, it's, it's never a the one of those consultations where it's like okay cool this is my plan this is what you do game over our game let's get, let's get started. It's like no like what's going on? Mm-hmm. Why are you actually coming to me? Because you've been a, you've been in advance first of all, and I, I'm very picky with people I choose. And people, some people think I have a, a ton of people. I I really don't. I'm very selective because I'm like, I don't want to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time either. Because if you look, if you look, you come to me and you starting to lose 10 pounds in a month, at the end of that month, I'm going to look at you crazy. <laughs> 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 I am. I'm looking, I say, look, I, I told you exactly what to do. Yeah. We, had a con- we had an awesome conversation. I know what your mind says that. I gave you the plan. I took the, my precious time <laughs> to write this workout, give you a meal plan. What are you doing when, when you leave me? Right. That's the real question. You know, so my, my personal, th- my thing is this. I want to. I want to connect with you, like for real, you know. For the first time, my, matter of fact, most of my consultations, we don't even talk about fitness. I just want to know what you're doing. <laughs> you know. But you know what I hear? Mm-hmm. I hear assessment. I mm. hear customer experience. Experience. Take the customer out of it, just the experience. That's right. And I'm also hearing accountability. Yeah. yeah. And you, yeah. Ain't, you really ain't touched nothing on fitness. Nothing it's such all. a different niche. Because you know, it, honestly, here's the thing. I mean, it, it's so so simple. Every system works if you apply it. All right. Now, whether I give you <laughs> a system that is cookie cutter, it's completely up to you. You know what I mean? It's completely up to you. But if your mindset is not even to ready to receive whatever system I give you, it ain't going to matter. Mm, <laughs> you know, it's just going to be, hey, go, I might as well tell you this. Go get your P90X and do it every day. Yeah. Are you going to do it? <laughs> Something out the box. And right. if, you, you, know if you do it, did your lifestyle change? Because exactly. your lifestyle ain't changed, you're going to end up right, right back where you were on exactly. that 91st day. Exactly. It's coming back. <laughs> Something in there still is it's, broken. It's still <laughs> broken. And so, yeah. like, I tell people this all the time like, look, it's, 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 it literally is bigger than fitness. You know, it literally is bigger than fitness because you come to me for a specific reason. You need results. All right. So, obviously, you know what you need to do. You just need the right person to tell you how to do it and mm-hmm. to motivate you to do it. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, no, I'm going to spend time. I don't want to talk. But in my consultation is normally about an hour. First 30 minutes, we're not talking about number of fitness. What's your, like, like, really, what are you doing all day? Where's your mind at? Because I know what it takes to lose weight. I know what it takes to build muscle. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying it because I know everything. I'm saying because I did it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, talking about from being borderline diabetic, high blood pressure, schizophrenia, uh, hyperthyroid, all that stuff, I've beat all that. So if you come to me with all those issues, I'm like, I know what to do, but are you ready to do it? You know what I mean? Mm. So that's that's where it really is that's at a to gym me. So. Right there. Did yeah. you did they get it? Yeah, did you they, get yeah. it? <laughs> are you ready to do it? Right. It's about that that self preservation. You want to you know preserve yourself, and you want to be the best you you can be. You going to somebody else yeah. looking for a solution right. when technically you might already know the solution. You just need you, to be pushed. You just need in to the push. right direction and right. held accountable. Held accountable. And I'm like, hey, you give me your money, I'm gonna make sure you get it yeah. because I know what it takes. I, I still have a trainer to this day, and I pay them every single month. But I know what it takes. You know what I mean? It's another gym. <laughs> It's another gym. The trainer has a trainer. The trainer has a trainer. You're a consultant. Do you have a consultant? Exactly. You're a coach. You have a coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you yeah, know, roll with it, roll with it, roll hey, with it. You know. I know Steph got a PR rep that's also probably her mentor. So, right. like, I'm yeah. saying. Hey. You know, who pouring into you when exactly. you pouring that's out? What I'm exactly, saying. and that's the that's the thing that just baffles me with people when it comes down to just overall like us being together. Sure, like. I can't do this by myself. I, I literally can't. You know, I literally need somebody else to help me so I can help somebody else. And the problem is people get so selfish and so self-absorbed, they want all the credit for themselves. Like, I need, I need, I need. No, I need you to give so I can give, so we can all give and create this oh, awesome man. chain. You know what I mean? That's so. the old model. The old model is competition. The new model is collaboration. Man, mm-hmm. right. <laughs> My yeah. homie says that best. Shout yeah. out to Joe. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Joe? Right. What's well, goody? So let me ask yeah. you this. Obviously... We're in Houston, mm-hmm. you know, fourth now, third largest city. Crazy. There's a lot of a lot of great food around here, which means <laughs> there, there's a lot of business for good trainers. Uh-huh. Right, right. But the question is, what sets Ricky Getwood aside mm-hmm. from the rest? What's that X factor that lives in you mm-hmm. that you don't see in everybody else? Wow, man. Uh, you know, it, it's not that it's, it's hard to even think about, but what really I, I know for myself mm-hmm is that I can literally look you in your eye. If you come to me and say, I need help, 
and you tell me what areas you need help in, I'm going to relate to you and not just be like, again, that's not the whole cookie cutter concept. Sure. You know what I mean? So if you come to me and be like, yo, I really, really need to lose weight. I'm borderline diabetic. I got high blood pressure. My husband about to leave me, so on and so forth. And I'll tell you this. How about this? Cut all of that. I don't want to hear no more excuses. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, here's the thing. Is this for you? Like, are you doing this for yourself? Mm. You know what I mean? So I literally, I was, again, it's a, I know it's very time consuming. It's very, t it's more time consuming to like sit here, sit here and figure a person out, you know, uh, which is sometimes it's a good thing and a bad thing. because you know, <laughs> you know, because it's like, cause, you know, they always say time is money, but I'm like, whatever, money will come eventually, yeah. but we, you take care of the people first. So I literally, I'm like, can't even make this up to you. Yeah. At my camps, my camps, I'll be over with it by 545. I mm -hmm. probably won't leave the site till about 630. You know what I'm saying? 6.30, maybe 6.45, because I'm just sitting there talking to the people, yeah. just talking to them. I'm like, no, what's going on? Because you keep coming back to me. Again, I, I'm really serious about that. Like, yeah. I want you, I got to get paid. I got three kids. You know what I'm saying? Two with my girlfriend, so we got five total. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of, right. you know, it's a lot of kids. But no, not, not, not only that, I mean, I do have to make sure my house is take care of sure. first. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to make sure that you're actually getting something from me. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll be so serious. I'll be like, yo, did you get something from my lesson today? Did you get something? If you didn't get nothing. Let me know because I don't. I'll, I'll send you to somebody else. I will find somebody else for you. So when I say this, I'm about the people. I'm really about the people. Best so entrepreneurs that's, yeah. in the world are about the people. And one of the things you said that that I don't know. I don't know if you picked up on, but mm -hmm. this is where we put it together. You talked about the time equaling money, and mm -hmm. you're dedicating your time into people. Right. What you're really building is that relationship currency that we All talk right. about each and every week on, yeah. the, on this show. Yeah. That relationship yes. currency because you're actually there with the people. Right. And that's that's priceless. That is so, man. I'm that's, that's, that's one thing like you, I mean, you literally can't, you can't teach somebody how to care. You can't. Mm. <laughs> you people can't. attempt. That's yeah, the, they, that's and it's so right fake. There. Yeah, that's it. it. And it's so fake. Like in this whole, you know. It's robotic. It's yeah. not genuine. Uh, I can't, yeah. I can't. That's so I can, I really just bring genuineness. No, honestly, I'm, I'm very, I, I can't, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I'm very genuine in my approach because I know what it feels like to be depressed. I know mm -hmm. what it feels like to be borderline suicide. I know what it feels like, all that stuff. So I've been there. So I'm not just coming to you and just being like, oh, cool, just work out, dude, <laughs> jumping jacks. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not like that. It's like, yo, like for real. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what's going on in your head? So anyway, yeah, I can go on and on about that oh, subject. Yeah. But <laughs> no, we, we could too. We <laughs> could too. And you yeah. know what I got from that, just mm -hmm. now just sitting here listening, is that you are dedicating so much time into your business, mm -hmm. which means that you really don't have time for other things, right? Like, mm -hmm. you're probably delegating other things like, I don't know, advertising, <laughs> which this portion of the show is sponsored by The Sphere. There it is. Are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to, be, to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, YouTube and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every single time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. Bam. <laughs> Bam. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. So what I hear, and mm -hmm. KG is, I'm sure she's right here with this. You sow and sow and sow and you're mm -hmm. pouring in by the gallons, gallon of water a week, a day. Mm -hmm. You're pouring in by the gallons into these folks. But what are you doing for self? Mm -hmm. How are you giving back to self when you need to recharge those mm -hmm. lithium ions? What's oh, going on I in like your life? Lithium ions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Honestly, man, I, as excited and as crazy as I am, my, I'm like, if you ever come to my, my work, workouts or in my music performances, I'm crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I jump, I run, I scream. I just don't care because I just that's that's my release right there. That's, I'm like that. But when I'm at home, mm -hmm. when I'm pouring into myself, I watch documentaries all day. <laughs> no, I mean, that, like literally, that's knowledge. That's I literally it. sit there and watch. I mean, from political documentaries, from financial documentaries to enlightenment documentaries. You you name it, I watch it. I I, I do love watching uh, animal chases too. Which one did you? What's your most current documentary you watched? Uh, this it's weird. I've been on this series with uh, wildlife. I know it's, it's, it's animal. I like animal chases yeah. because you learn so much from these animals. Like for real. <laughs> 
honestly, you really can like it, it, it gets you engages it gets you. It's yeah. like, dang, I've been watching this for like three hours. No, I got so caught up, and then they, I didn't realize it. I, and I just literally just kept click play, and I didn't realize it was a, a bunch of episodes. <laughs> and they kept going episode to episode. So the last one I, I started watching, and then it spilled over to the next one was this leopard like trying to catch his gazelle. I ain't gonna lie, this leopard was so like stealthy, man. Like he was like in his ditch, and he was so stealthy. And this, this I had this awesome, crazy analogy. By the time I got done watching this, so here's I'm true story. I'm sorry, uh, but funny story. So he was in a ditch. He was so stealthy, right? And the and the gazelle was like at the edge of the ditch, right? Mm-hmm. And so this thing was so stealthy. He had to wait for the perfect moment, perfect time, obviously. So he jumped up, he grabbed the gazelle, grabbed it by the neck, right? This is the part that made me laugh. So he dragged him down <laughs> to the ditch. All the other gazelles in the back just sitting there watching them getting drugged down. I'm like. <laughs> What? Y'all ain't gonna do <laughs> nothing. They could have pulled out their office. They like, you know, like, you know ah, and seriously. Yeah. So that just let me know, honestly, I mean, I use that in, in like in, in real life with people. Like people are the same way. Yeah. They'll just sit there and watch you drown. Like mm-hmm. because it's entertaining for them. Yep. You know, it's the same thing in business. That honestly that's what made me a little bit stronger. Is like I stopped worrying about other people watching me. You know, yeah. I really did. Mm-hmm. I did. I just started literally just doing that's every a single thing I said I'm gonna do. That's really because I'm like these because they all just watching y'all could have Hoofed them or something, you know. They didn't do nothing. They could have kicked them. Hoofed them. <laughs> they didn't do nothing. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I watch a lot of documentaries. Um, I mean, I do the, the basic thing. I go hiking. I do meditate. I do everything that most people think that you should, uh, you know, that I do. But I watch a ton of documentaries all day. That's believe interesting, that. man. So what are you? I'm gonna follow up on that. So mm-hmm. how are you? What are you doing to protect your creative space, right? What are you doing to recharge the batteries in terms of? Protecting your flow, mm-hmm. your juju, making yeah. sure that you can jump around when you're on stage <laughs> and you can be crazy and just right. authentic and raw when you're out wow. in boot camp. To be completely honest, again, I, I'm, I'm gonna say that a lot because I'm really just honest in my thoughts. I don't have any, um, I don't have a script. That's what we like. Yeah, I don't have mm-hmm. a script when it comes to just being myself. Uh, because most times, believe it or not, I'm actually tired because <laughs> I don't sleep a lot. <laughs> I'll get about four hours of sleep a day, uh, you know. But I'm actually tired. But one thing I've learned to, I literally learned to just literally just take advantage of my ability to be able to move. Mm-hmm. Like I'm so excited because again, there was a point in time when I was so big I couldn't move. There was a point in time I was so depressed I couldn't move. There was a point in time I couldn't even speak. Like I know I talk a lot now, but you would have caught me by maybe seven years ago. I was a stuttering fool. <laughs> and like really, I couldn't I, I couldn't get my thoughts together. You know what I mean? Like really, I, I was I would I mean I was that guy. I would just stutter so much I couldn't talk. I was nervous, sweaty palms, all that good stuff. I was that guy. So now when I'm in front of people or when I'm teaching my classes, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to let you know like you can actually be this happy. Yeah. Like you really you really can't be this happy. You have to take advantage of like, yo, I'm not dead. I'm not in the hospital bed. You know, I can actually move. So, like, you looking for this this crazy super juice. It ain't no super juice. Just move, fool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just move, fool. <laughs> you know? I like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, for real. Somebody <laughs> better figure it out. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's coming. That's the just truth, move, you know? <laughs> so, right. like <laughs> just, so, that's what it is for me. Honestly, I really get in that, in that zone to where I'm like, you know, if, if I have those thoughts, everybody has those thoughts. One crazy thing, people are like, I can't get my thoughts straight. I get it. Everybody has crazy thoughts. Yeah. But if you decide to focus on one thing and say, you know what, I actually can move. Mm. I'm not. I'm not. And that right, that little bit yeah. is the sparks Become me. And I'm just like, Shh, let's go. You know, I don't, yeah. don't want to hear that. Unless you're in a hospital bed, you coming to me crutches. I'll be like, <laughs> you know what, I might give you a little break. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little break. <laughs> you in a wheelchair, but we gonna just do up about it. <laughs> We're going to do some toe raises. Something, man. Something. Y'all cut up. Y'all cut up. You're going to work them shows. You're going to work them shows. <laughs> but you're going to do something. I don't care. Look, I don't care if you got to blink your eyes a million times. You better, do the, you better be blinking like crazy. You know? <laughs> hey, it is what it is. You know. Uh, listen to this. Yeah, this is real. But that's what it is, honestly. I'm just so, so, like, just excited for the fact that I can actually move. I can speak. Yeah. I can think. I'm actually doing the things that I said I couldn't do. I didn't think I could start a business. I didn't think I could write a book. None of that stuff. Everything I thought I couldn't do, I'm actually doing it. I didn't. Th- I really didn't think I could start a business. I had nobody around me to motivate me to start a business again. So that's what it is for me. Man. Yeah. Dopeness. <laughs> Ricky, 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 Ricky. Nothing <laughs> but dopeness, <laughs> man. So mm. let's talk. Let's transition. We're in this DeLorean talking about now. Mm-hmm. Let's head toward the future. Mm. Let's talk 2025. Woo. 2030. Yeah. Where do you see your enterprise being built? Where is it at? What's going on in your life mm-hmm. 5, 10, 20 years from now? <sighs> My immediate thought is honestly, I got to be completely transparent with y'all. Sure. I don't plan like that. 
Okay. I really don't. Keep and, it a buck. Yeah, I'm, I want to be honest. And here's the thing I, I, I wish that most people would get. Every philosophy is applicable to each person individually. You know, every True. system is applicable to every person individually. So some people may have 5, 10, 15 year, 20 plan. For me, that was just too much of my thoughts because, mm-hmm. I mean, true story, like, I really used to have anxiety issues. So when I would think that far ahead, it would drive me nuts. And I'd be like, yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I get it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I yeah. can't focus. So I literally stopped thinking so far ahead and started like right now, what can I do? You in the mm-hmm. moment. I, I yeah. have to. You I live in to, the moment. I have to live in the moment yeah. because I can't even think about five years from now. Now I know what I would like to, what I want to see happen. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But Let's talk I, about that. Am yeah. I going to put it in five years? No, nope, because mm-hmm. it might happen tomorrow. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but ultimately I would love to just see myself training worldwide speaking worldwide writing another book worldwide me and steph talked about this as well it's like having a, a play or a movie based on one of my books you know i'm actually working on the next one right now so uh you know that's something i see myself doing i don't i don't really want to do anything else i just want to w- go around train people hey let's meet up over here let's work out let's have these awesome seminars let's have these awesome classes yeah and that's it and then perform live music that's all i want to do i just want to teach Preach and work out. <laughs> You're such a happy dude. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm willing to bet that. Yeah. I'm willing to bet, not my check, but no, the you book. Can do that. <laughs> 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 that your book that you authored is probably something around being happy. Yeah. It's called How to Be Happy Coming from a Non College Graduate. Mm. <laughs> talk to us a little bit about Talk to our viewers and talk to us about uh-huh. how that book manifested. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a fictional, non fictional story real quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put it whichever way you want it. Uh, and this is a story I, I learned from this, this guru, and it's really just kind of like just catapulted me into like this writing because again I never thought I could write I was in reading classes ever since I was five so I never thought I could even fathom writing a book so I was like I actually wrote a book I did it you know what I mean so uh this just imagine there's a there's a bull and a pheasant okay in the field you know the pheasant that sits on top of the bull picks the fleas off the bull right Mm -hmm. so the pheasant told the bull that I'm so weak, I'm not like the other birds. I want to fly, you know. Uh, I will. There's this tree. I want to just fly to the to the top of the oak tree, right? So the bull say, you know what? Here's what you should do. You should eat my dung, <laughs> and you should eat my dung. Eat it every day, and on the fourth day, you'll be able to get to the top of the tree, right? So the bird, the pheasant was like, no, that, that don't make any sense. He was like, the, the bull's like, no, everybody uses it. It's fertilizer, right? It's mm-hmm. supposed to make you stronger, bigger, whatever, so on and so forth. So the bird was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. So he started eating his dung, okay? <laughs> On the first day he got to the second branch, first branch, right? The next day he got to the next branch, all right? On the last day he finally got to the top of the branch. He was like, wow, you were right. Eating your dung helped me get all the way to the top of this tree, right? So he made it to the top of the tree. The farmer, <laughs> there's a farmer sitting back. He looking, he was like, oh, there's a big old pheasant up there. Took the shotgun, pow, shot him down, right? So the moral of the story is, <laughs> <laughs> even bullshit, you get to the top, but you won't stay there forever. Yes. Okay? <laughs> oh, True so indeed. I so am re- <laughs> replaying that. I'm going to write that thing down and memorize right. it. Right. So like a, back at VA and video songs, <laughs> remembering video lyrics. So, so for me, um, so for me, like, I, I just told myself to don't fake nothing. Mm. Just be genuine in every single thing you do. Is that a sign we got to stop? Uh-huh. So, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, to be genuine and not fake anything. You know, just be 100% who I am. I can't BS my way nowhere. I don't want to. You know, it makes me feel, co- I, I, I can't BS and say I know everything because I don't. I might be calling you and need you for, for some advice. You know what I mean? For sure. And I think most people, like, are, they're not comfortable with saying I need help. I'm that guy, I'm like, yo, I need help. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could probably speak to anybody in the world, but when it comes down to like behind the scenes, mm-hmm. some things I'm like, no, I actually may need some help in that area. You know, that's what your mean? stock and trade. Your yeah. stock and trade is that I'm, hey, I'm right. genuine. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> help me. Yeah, that's <laughs> whereas everybody else is like, I don't want no one to know, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I had to go along with that. The that I was always questioning everything. But it made me, going back to uh, being happy, that's what really made me happy. Being happy for me was just the fact that I don't know everything, mm-hmm. but I want to know something else. Yeah. So that kept sen- kept thinking that way. It was like, yo, I don't know this, but I want to know. Oh, so it just keeps on, it made me happy, honestly. So I think people who settle and they get in this like just boring lifestyle, those are the ones who aren't happy. You know what I mean? I, we, we, both, we probably all know millionaires who are miserable. I know them personally. Totally. Just like 
horrible lives. You know what I mean? So I was like, I won't be that guy. So it doesn't not even about the money. I just want to be happy, learning and growing and moving forward. So yeah, I am literally happy all the time. <laughs> in, in the words of, of Ricky, Ricky Jr. Oh. <laughs> It ain't about the money, but somebody need to be managing that somebody, money. Yes, somebody, yes. You, we talked about stock and trade. You mm-hmm. got to have somebody that can give you some expert advice oh, yeah. on stock and trade. Yeah. So guess what? what? This portion of the show is sponsored <laughs> by <laughs> at the Houston of Housewives of Finance. What up, ladies? <laughs> Did you know that only four states in the United States offer financial education? 33% or more than 77 million of Americans don't pay their bills on time. 39% of Americans carry credit card debt from month to month, and 39% of adults say they don't have enough in savings. Don't become one of these statistics. Let Houston Housewives of Finance advise you on increasing your cash flow and becoming your own money manager by scheduling your complimentary personal financial strategy. Contact Houston Housewives of Finance today, like right now, at 1-844-700-4463 or email us at info at HoustonHousewivesOfFinance.com. Ask us how you can participate in a complimentary financial literacy workshop near you. Houston Housewives of Finance are the new phases of the new age of financial services. And I kind of know what I'm talking about. You kind of do. They my financial advisors. They do a little something for me too. And my mother in law. Life insurance, right? I mean, I ain't look, if I saying. crack over, like folks gonna be out here winning, <laughs> rolling around in Bentleys, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like for real. Like Cam, right. you can go like and buy I'm, any bag you want. Right. I'm gonna be a bitter soul. <laughs> <laughs> Could my parents do that for me? <laughs> right. I just call them right yeah. now. <laughs> my G, mm-hmm. you have definitely taken us on a great journey of entrepreneurship. From the things that have gone on in your past, this Astroworld situation, <laughs> I will never forget that. I won't either, trust me. <laughs> so thinking about you today, running around, jumping around at your, at, at your shows, people listen to your music, or in your workout arena or area, and you just, you know, really taking them to that next level. Mm-hmm. And even the fact that for the future, you're like, man, I live in today. Yeah. I ain't got to be anxious for anything. I'm taking it day by day, and I'm sowing back into myself right. each and every time. Right. That is Beautiful, my G. Thank you, man. But let me ask you this final question. Go for it. What happens if we wipe the slate clean? Mm-hmm. What happens if we take away all the the people, not clients, not customers, but the people that you've touched, the lives you've changed? What happens if we take away every Fruity Loops mix, <laughs> Ableton Live, every Pro Tools uh, project file that you've ever yeah. worked on. We take that away from you. Motifs, we take all the keyboards out. We remove dumbbells, kettlebells, everything. We take you back to square one. Mm-hmm. But you remember everything you've been through, mm-hmm. and we slide you a little seed money. Mm-hmm. Just say $1,000, $5,000, whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. How would you structure and organize things differently today, knowing everything that you know with this seed money versus the things you did the first time around? Mm, man, that's so awesome, like for real. Because <laughs> I thought about that just the other day. At the at the base of it all, set my foundation right, obviously we're in business, so you have to make sure that you're covered. Mm. That's one thing I did not know anything about until like, years into business you know again i didn't know what dba llc now i'm c corp i was like i didn't know none of that stuff you know i didn't know anything so i would literally hire a lawyer to like help me hey bro help me get this process started help me get my business plan help me get my tax situation straight that way i can avoid this in the future because if that part's taken care of i could just be me yeah you know what i mean like i just want to get all that squared away make sure my branding is good make sure everything is copyrighted and everything i need legally to be right to be functioning as a business Okay, and then I would just continue doing what I'm doing now. Honestly, I just need to make the, make sure the foundation is right first. Yep. Legally, I'm good. Structure. Okay? And I can just move forward from there. I don't want no investors. I don't want none of that stuff. Because let me tell you something. When I first started training, I literally had a garage, a push-up bar, and a mat. That's how you start off. That's, that's how like Apple it. started. You in know? the garage. In the garage. In the garage. <laughs> With so, a push-up button and a mat. And literally, that's all I had. That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Sit, man. <laughs> you know, so that's literally all I have. I just didn't understand and know. I was just totally ignorant to the legal part of it, you mm. know. So I was training for a whole year, like on my own, even before Camp Glad or anybody else, mm-hmm. before I understood, like, okay, oh God, I need to get this business part straight. Because in my mind, I'm just like, yeah, I got a business. And this is what make me laugh a lot of times. People say, I own a business, I own a business. Cool. Anybody can own a business. Go downtown and get your DBA right now. You own a business, but do you know what to do with your business? Yeah. That's right. a real thing, you know what I mean? So, or does the business own you? Exactly. <laughs> you know, and that. Pff, 
I had to hit myself on you know that. What I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, and that's and that's what the thing was like, cause then you have to st- you start backtracking. Mm. You know, it's just a lot I didn't know, so I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what I did know. And a lot of money and too. A lot of money, oh, man, Let's talk yeah, about no the. F- hey. I've had some Ooh. of those learning <laughs> opportunities. Hey. Like, yeah. yeah, man. When I, wow. yes. I, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I yeah. get it. I got it. this lesson. <laughs> I got that lesson mm-hmm. early. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, my first. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm again being transparent. My first investor. You know, I mean, I had about 10, maybe 20, 20 grand. You know what I mean? I had no idea what I was doing. I, I knew nothing about due diligence, none of that stuff. So I was just like, you know, I knew nothing about hedge funds. So I'm just like, thanks, bro. Let's make, <laughs> you know, let's do this. You know, let's do this. Let's make this thing happen. And so I'm out here, again, not doing the legal part of it. I'm paying for branding. I'm paying for logos. I'm paying for T-shirts. I'm paying for all this other random stuff that has nothing to do with my bi- actual business part of it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And then later on, dude was like, yo, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking on every turn? And I'm yeah. like, what every turn? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what kind I didn't of, I I return anything yeah, to the store. Yeah, you know, I, I, I didn't return nothing. But I'm mean? wondering what kind of investor was that? Well, he ain't, ha- ain't talking about that. You know, too. It yeah. was a learning opportunity for him, <laughs> too. He did, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, like, everybody learned. learned. I ain't going to give you 20 grand. I'm talking yeah. about, okay, here's your schedule. <laughs> right, right, right. Here's your promissory that's note. What I'm it was one of those weird situations. Again, I, he, he did not know. Only thing he knew was I was super excited. Yeah. I was super happy. Had an awesome concept with yeah. fitness and music. And I was literally doing my work up. Uh, my boot camps with live music, so it was exciting. Yeah, and I was motivating. So he was like, "Oh, dude, you cool." And then I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I think my impression of him was as if I had everything already together, yeah. and we was cool. It was like one of Perception. family friend him the things. And I was like, mm, "So don't take money from family friends unless you know what's up." So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I would. I mean, going back to the original question, yeah, that's what I would do. Get that money. Get it. Make make sure you're legally taken care of, right? Yes. And then move forward to branding and everything else. Then you know, cost steps to take man. care of all that stuff. Man, yeah. oh man, listen, Mike's on fire. It, yeah. Listen. Yeah, yeah, Mike's on <laughs> fire, bro. <laughs> that's a gem right there in itself. Gotta have a foundation, so right? Many of them started off prepared with the end in mind. You Ooh, better do it, man. Better do it. Yep, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> I'm gonna just bring out the bazooka. You know, <laughs> like for real, man. Man, yeah. Ricky, Mister Getwood Junior. <laughs> <laughs> With everything that you've been through, sir, mm. all the toils, the tribulations, I, I keep thinking about the asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> man, that was bad, man. Like it, it took me a while to get over there, I for real. Man. <laughs> but everything that you've been through and mm. what you've created from that, Phoenix from the ashes, sir. Yes. We would like to officially coin you here at this table. Oh wow. A startup master. Ah, Thank you so much. Yeah. Confetti, confetti. Pop, 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 pop. pop, pop. We're going to get some of that. <laughs> Please, my G, let all the people know that are watching us right now, that are sitting on their couch with their Apple TV, mm. putting <laughs> apples in their face, whatever the case, or they're right. sitting in their car. Yeah. Yeah. Ships. <laughs> for, for the audio <laughs> only people serious. as well, let yeah. them know where they can reach you, my G. Man, this is so simple. I'm the only. Ricky Getwood Jr. in the world. So if you just Google Ricky Getwood Jr., uh, hashtag Ricky Getwood Jr., Facebook, Ricky Getwood Jr., I will pop up. I'm the only, well, not the only dude with a beard and a bald head, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm the only Ricky Getwood Jr. in the world. So you can find me just Ricky Getwood Jr. My website is fitnessmusicinc.com uh, at Camp Gladiator, which is Ricky Getwood at Camp Gladiator.com. All that. I'm, I'm not hard to find at all. Trust me. My name is like literally right up there. <laughs> good deal. Yeah. Good deal, my G. We appreciate that. I appreciate good y'all, man. Definitely. Seriously. It was awesome. Thank you. KG, y'all where can they reach you at, my, my dear? Peeps, you can reach me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram at KOG Speaks. Keep it simple across all those platforms. KOG Speaks. There it is. What about you, G? And of course, anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, USPS, you can reach me at the 1st and 15th on somebody's street corner somewhere, mm-hmm. at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. Remember, if you got any questions about anything we do here on the show, shoot us an email, startupmasters at thesphere.tv or across social media at thesphere.tv, hashtag startupmasters. This has been another great episode. Indeed. Thank you, guys. We will see you all next time. Awesome. Take Thank care. You.